Hey guys, so right now we're at Factory Direct and I uh, just picked up one of the ingredients for um, this thing I'm going to be building. And I'll show you guys the whole building process and all that stuff. But it's something to help with uh, couch gaming or in my case, bed gaming. Um, no compromise. You don't need to use a controller, just keyboard and mouse, you know, perfectly. And uh, an actual enjoyable experience. So yeah, I'll catch up on this. That's Bud. As we walk through Pizza Hut. <laughs> See, he knows he's being conscious. So. We are at Fabricland. And uh, I'm picking up, not ingredients, but I'm picking up uh, material that I want to use for um, my project. Yeah, left, uh, right here. She said over there. I'm going to go around. I'm gonna go yeah, go around. So I've never been in a fabric land and it's like a fabric, or I guess fabric land, <laughs> land of fabrics, yeah, but it's really cool. These diamonds, over here on the right. so. diamonds, you can bling out your stuff. Uh, but the thing that I'm making is going to be very interesting and I don't want to spoil it. I just want to get you guys through the experience of my search and like how I'm going about making my decisions and then you guys will see what it is like. Is making my wedding dress. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> Spoilers. We're back on the road and next stop is Home Depot. You got to get your DIY tools and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I got my roll of vinyl uh, material. It's going to be great because it's going to act... Oh, wait. Can't spoil it. In any case, <laughs> <laughs> takes place of a lot of things and... Uh, Gives a nice finish, so I'm looking forward to it. It's nothing super, super fancy, but at least it's gonna look clean and complete, right? So we'll head out and get it done. So right now I'm at Lawrence Square and I found the last piece I was missing. I needed uh, yoga blocks for the legs uh, or the base. And the main tire has them for like $11 and not a nice color. So um, Natalie suggested going to Marshalls for this and uh, they had the exact color that I wanted, a better size than um, the one I can name Tide had. And they're cheaper, so it's in about an extra eight bucks or so. Overall, I think I spent just about 60 bucks on the entire setup, uh, 60 or $70. Uh, but a lot of them were tools uh, that I didn't have had to repurchase and that I can use in the future so not everything was needed so technically you can still build this for about 50 or 50 bucks or so and it'll be fully usable the way you want it to be so can't wait to get started and show you guys exactly what I'm hey guys welcome back to do it live it's been a long time since I made a video for you guys on uh, on our main gaming channel sorry about that but uh, I was going to do this for myself and I figured might as well show you guys what I'm going to do and what you guys can do to make sure that you have a nice couch or bed gaming experience um, and just you know slouch around and still play some keyboard and mouse FPS whatever you feel like doing because not all games are comfortable with the controller so why not make some sort of solution for you on the couch. So if you guys have heard of the Lapdog or the Rocket Sova or the Razer turret that's out. This is my take on it. it was inspired by another D DIY guy. Um, so essentially it's going to be a lap board slash desk and um, I'll take you guys through the steps of doing it and my sort of methodology as well. So let's get started with the materials. Obviously you need some sort of a board. This is a nice three quarter inch uh, pine board nice and sturdy it doesn't bend too much so you can get that as your at your local hardware store uh, they can cut it to size for you as well what I'm using right now is 32 no so 31 by 12 so it gives you a good amount of depth gives you a uh, wrist space which the um, Corsair laptop didn't have and uh, a lot of people complained about that that it was getting a little bit uncomfortable where you had to adjust your grip and that they wanted some more space for the wrist so my solution is taking that into account. Of course, a lot of space for your mouse pad as well. Moving on, uh, other things that you need. You want a nice, smooth uh, surface. You don't want to be just working on a piece of wood. So I went out to my local fabric 
distributor um, in Canada, it's called Fabricland. And I got this sort of vinyl smooth material, which to be honest is pretty much a big mouse pad. And that's what I'm gonna cover the entire board with. And um, essentially I don't need a mouse pad, but I can also put my mouse, bar, mouse pad on top if I want to. Moving on, uh, this is the stuff that you need to actually fasten it all together. Go to your local hardware store and the best solution really is to, I don't know what this is, is to staple the upholstery to it. And you know, a stapler like this is only 12 bucks, cost me 12 bucks, and you just get a set of staples for like three, four dollars. Of course, I'm gonna put all the things that I use in the description below, uh, and I'll try to get links for you as well, but also don't forget that a lot of these hardware stores don't fully um, stock all of their items on the website. So you might have to do a little bit of searching, but that's part of the fun. You want to look around and enjoy what you're doing. So sta hand stapler, which is really easy to use. Just push down, bam, staple. Um, what I also got was dual-sided mounting tape. I don't want the uh, vinyl to sort of rise from the board. Um, after you know temperature changes humidity and stuff like that so I'm gonna use double-sided or mounting tape uh, to sort of hold it down as well it's not necessary but something I suggest you can also use adhesive spray or spray adhesive but I opted not to do that because I don't want to spray shit in my house oh spray stuff in my house sorry about that and so that's what I got from also velcro if you want to make it a desk instead of a lap board like the lap dog um, I'm using the velcro so I have the interchangeability option there and yeah so for the legs I'm using which I've only heard about after I started building this yoga blocks so they're foam blocks that are really sturdy and meant to take the weight of your average person doing yoga I'm a pretty heavy guy and I can't compress this so rated up to 190 pounds pretty good so these will act like the legs on the actual board and give you that space between your legs um, and the actual board to make a comfortable experience remember that you're going to be on a couch or a bed so if this is not completely tall enough you're going to sink into the better couch and it's going to work out well so we have a big strong guy who's going to try to compress this right now big guy ty which is uh my brother pretty much me with yeah. hair at this point oh yeah that's right the last time I uploaded a video I had hair so if you guys don't recognize me I'm sorry I am back um, I don't know how often I'll be making videos but I wanted to get this one out for you guys so two yoga blocks I got it actually at a place called winners or Marshalls um, it's pretty much one of those like discount big box stores that has like clothes at discount stuff like that and they have sports gear and luckily I found these two there you can go to like a sport check or a sports store to get these but you can get these cheaper at those like discount stores as well so luckily I found two nice black ones that will match my vinyl as well as they're the same height and I don't have to do anything to these perfect nice and you know when you go against them it's not rough or anything like that it's a better solution than just putting wood so I am going to get started with this and sort of map everything out, start uh, measuring out uh, the dimensions for the vinyl. Remember, give yourself about more than an inch, depending on the thickness of your wood. You want to make sure that after you cut the sheet, that remember, it's going to fold over, it's going to fold over the edges of your board, right? So give yourself maybe double that space or maybe more. So mine is three quarter inch, so I'm gonna cut an extra, um, let's say an inch and a half on each side. Don't forget, you have to over measure because you're gonna wrap it on all sides. You don't want a side with an exposed edge, which will cause discomfort and just overall look a little worse. You, you know, you can just take the board and just use it as is, but you're trying to make this an elegant, nice, comfortable couch solution. And um, that's what we're gonna do here. So. I'm gonna cut the video you guys, uh, sorry, I'm gonna cut the video here, you guys. I'm gonna get started on this and you guys will be able to join along.
Uh, top of the board, pretty simple, plain and simple. Good for the rest. May need to put a thing here. A mouse pad, because that bumpiness is going to cause problems. Oh yeah, but that's easy. Take it down, bro. You're done. All right. Did you wash your face with the vinegar? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, the look on the screen has been So, a key thing to do is put the soft side of the Velcro on, um, on the bottom because, say you want to use this on your lap, it's a little bit nicer for you if the soft velcro is on the bottom or if you want to put it on a table or something. As you can see guys, very easy, very simple, nice lap board to go on your desk. I'll do some more footage of it later. Nice little thing that I want to do is I want to put the USB hub built into the thing so that you don't have all these wires flailing all about. So using the double sided tape I'm going to mount it right under here and uh, you just plug your stuff straight into there. Very simple, easy, no problem. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you using it. Um, on the bed there you guys go that is how you do your own lap board desk sort of idea very easy to do the initial investment will only be around 50 or 60 dollars and again all the links or all the items that i use will be found in the description below and if not i'll try to get you an idea of where or how to get it so as you can see or as i showed you just earlier i'm going to show you it in use but see, this is the board surface. Good amount of, of space for the keyboard and mouse. Nice, sturdy over there. You've got the legs on the bottom. And what I did was an additional thing was put the, come on, focus, focus camera, focus. Uh, I hope you guys can see it. There's a USB hub on the bottom so you don't have multiple wires stringing out going to your computer. You just use an extension that I've got and now uh, plug your things right into this hub. Headphones, all that good stuff. And there you go, nice usable play surface. Also, obviously, if you're in my condition and you can't really move around, then you can use it to eat. Look at that. Nice, simple surface that can eat on my bed instead of having to lean over first as some sort of surface. So, multi-purpose. If I went with a lap situation, uh, and not the legs, then I wouldn't be able to use it as an eating surface as easily because it'd be on my lap and sort of teeter. But uh, I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to try it out, and you guys can sort of see me using it in action. Alright, let's, let's put this to use. So like I said, you can use it oh, in a couch type setting where you're sitting up or you're laying back in bed. I see it's a bit of shine back here. Put that down a little bit. There you go. Let's launch our game. 
Now I'm playing an FPS right now, so let's lay back and let's get to use. Oh, comfort. And my wrists feel great. Honestly, make sure it's on. I don't remember where I am in the game, but I'll do whatever I seem to be doing when I load up. Look at me, that's pure comfort, guys. In my bed, playing on my big screen TV. No hold bar to send. No, no traffic. Most of So thanks for tuning in to today's vlog guys. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, me and the rest of the family are going up to Collingwood or um, as most people know it as Blue Mountain area. As a result I'm not bringing any computers that can handle the, um, the rendering of the videos. Uh, so I will make vlogs when I get back so it will be maybe about a week long um, delay in vlogs but I wanted to get this one out to you. Uh, I did this in the past couple days, but I uh, haven't gone around to it just because of chemo and stuff like that. But uh, recovering for the most part from the chemo for now, I'm just going to go relax and uh, enjoy my time on vacation. So thanks again to everybody and uh, we'll see you back in just about a week. Hey guys, first time trying out the leg. It's cool. It's different. I think I've done this in a long, long time. No cane. I got the bars though. Just for now. How are you feeling in there? Uh, I'm still relying on my luck. Like, uh, and you your hands? More? Uh, hands I'm just doing because I'm used to putting weight on things. Okay. Any pain anywhere? Uh, no. Actually, no. Okay. Let me try skin now. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I get used to that. So, right now, you've got all those layers across your knee, and it makes it kind of difficult to bend. To bend, yeah. So, that'll come with a little bit of...